Hello and welcome to part 2 of my Ultramarine tutorial using Speed Paint and Contrast. Remember to hit that subscribe and notification bell and if you missed the first part then I'll put it down in the description. The first thing we're going to do is go in with Black Legion Contrast and this is for all the gaps in the armour, that kind of black under armour you see in the elbow joints, the armpits, the hips and round the back of the knees. Be very careful with your paintbrush, the black contrast paints are incredibly thick in pigment and they will stain the blue armour. If you do make a mistake then you can just very quickly wash off your brush and go over the blue armour and that should pick up the black paint that has spilled over. The next step is we are going to use Hoplite Gold from Speed Paint and we're going to go for all the gold details starting with the Aquila on the chest and then moving into the shoulder pads and any other details. Next we're going to do the chainsword and the bolt gun. I wanted to go really old school with this with the blood red uh, from Army Painter and make it really nice and vibrant. Much like the armour panels, try and break down the chainsword and the bolt gun into sections. Uh, this is fairly easy because you've got those flat panels already divided up for you. And with a fine brush just go in and do the lenses, you won't need to do more than one coat for those. Now we're going to use Speed Paint Hardened Leather for the gun holster and any pouches that you might find on their belts. I personally like to use quite a lot of the hardened leather or snake bite leather if you're using contrast because the more paint that you use, the deeper and richer that colour is going to be. If you have any belts or straps on your Space Marines, or whatever you're painting, then I always like to use Satchel Brown from Army Painter. I always think it's important to have different tones of the same colour just to make the model a little bit more interesting. Time to do the metal. For this I use Gravelord Grey from Speed Paint. The trick with this paint is it seems like it's not covering until it dries. It'll actually dry a lot darker than you initially think. So you've just got to have faith with this one. You can always just do another coat afterwards. I think I may have done that on some of these pieces. We're now going to take our Bold Titanium White from Pro Acryl. I can highly recommend this paint. This isn't a sponsored post, but I just genuinely love this paint. And we're going to use this on the very tips of the edges, the brightest, brightest parts of the blue armour. Uh, just a single line along the edge, and it's not necessarily a, along the entire edge, just, just where the light would really hit it. Thank you. 
Once that white has dried, you're gonna take a very light blue speed paint. Pastel indigo is what I use for this. And then wherever you put that white edge highlight, you just go over with the pastel blue and it just blends it in a little bit, makes it a little less stark. This next step is kind of optional. I prefer my models with a bit of grim dark, a bit of grittiness, so I like rattling grime. Start by painting this over the gold, and then when you've got a good coat over it, while it's still wet, just take your finger or a Q-tip or something like that and just dab it over the top, and that'll just remove the grime or the shade from the very, very edges of the detail. Just make sure that when you're doing that, don't be too rough because you can actually take the paint off right back down to the undercoat. We're then going to use the same technique on all of the silver metalwork, so parts of the bolt gun, the chain sword and the belt, and parts around the helmet. And with that, it's time to do the base. I use mummified grime, but you can pretty much use whatever base color you want to use. Make sure you're using quite a lot if you've got sand on your base because it will absorb the paint very, very quickly. And once you've painted the rim of your base, I've gone for just a black, you will have finished. The techniques you've learnt in these tutorials can be applied to pretty much any legion of Space Marine or any colour armour in general and I'll be going into more detail in future videos. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, I hope it helped and once again don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.